No. There we are again. Hello. And I uh, just wanted to briefly show off a little bit of Dungeon Alchemist. Seems to be a real uh, desire to see some more of it. And so I grabbed um, from the Discord, I grabbed a demo level that they have created. And this is called the Devil's Gorge. So I've zoomed right in. So this place, the landscape features, this place, lots of the, um, the, the sort of assets you can use. And this is a huge level. Let me just zoom out so you can see it. Um, so this is pretty big. I don't know what, what the maximum size is, but it's still performing quite well. Um, so that's not an issue. And what we have basically here is, well, a gorge of some sort, and it looks almost like some sort of camp here with no people on it, but you, you see fortifications here, you see cages, you see lots of stuff going on here. You see a war drum, and then you get the entry into the inner courtyard of the fortress, if you like. Again, barricaded with lots of things in here, from chapels to prisons to, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> An ogre skull or something. The secret garden, the secret grove here in the middle. So somebody really spent a bit of time doing this. And um, on the one hand, it really shows off what you can do. And on the other hand, um, I wanted to show you in a short video, hopefully I'm going to keep this short, how you would import this into Foundry and what it would look like. Yes, if I could just adjust the point of view slightly further, that would be really cool. You always have a almost have a tail spiral sort of experience here. Um, but yeah, this is um, a room. As I demonstrated in my last video, you can have this sort of view and you can easily create things. You can shift things. You can turn around things. You can say, I want the altar over here or I want this lectern over here. That's, that's very easily done. You can add stuff. You can remove stuff. But somebody clearly spent some time doing all that for us. For my own liking, these uh, pillars are a bit too dense, there are too many of them. So we could easily go there and say, okay, I want to remove this one, and I want to remove that one, and I want to remove that one. That's all good. And maybe I'll move this over here, and the pillar over here. You can see how that works. Very easily done. So, but now I want this in Foundry. And you can see there's walls here, there's uh, lights, there are lights. Etc. How does that look in Foundry? And this is one of the coolest things that they have the the export functionality. So I go to File, I go to Export, I give it a name uh, or format. You can see it's available for Fantasy Grounds as well as I mentioned the other video. Um, what sort of walls do you want? Limited, full, or orthographic? I like the full one. Going to go for this one. And this is this the function that's quite important now. Render lights in image and export to VTT. Okay. I don't want the grid on because I want a grid list one, Foundry does the grid at the end. I hit export, I give it a name. I've already done it, so I need to rename it. Devil Scotch 2. And you get the message saying here in the background, complete, good. So I'm just going to pop across into my Foundry now. And yeah, here's some maps I made the other day. These are maps I just created myself. You can see they're not as lovingly created, but they look quite cool anyway. Yeah, so if you look at the others here, but I didn't really use any walls or lights on these other than one little light. So let me show you what this looks like. If you want to import to Foundry, the first thing you have to do is create an empty scene. So Devil's Gorge 2, there we go. You get this typical gray, nice Foundry. Hmm. You then go to, um, just close this off right click here on the entry for the scene and set import data and this the first thing we're going to import is the json um, file this one here that has the lights and the walls on it so i import it snap there it is and you can already see the vague outline you can see the lights are on here the doors are on here and the walls are on here you then go back in right click configure and now we look at for the um the, the background image so upload that as well JPEG, open, select file, and I always set the background to black, save changes. And this looks pretty good, and it was pretty swift, wasn't it? So let's have a quick look here. Have we got the walls and the lights? I click on my walls, and you can see the walls have pre-configured. They're not terrain walls, but the, the building walls are definitely there. And the doors are in there. You can see that already here. Yeah, you've got some see-through things because these are half-height walls, so you can see over them. 
Uh, we've got solid walls. Um, don't think we've got any like ethereal or invisible walls, but we've got the doors. All there, all beautifully joined up. Well, almost, almost there's something. Almost beautifully joined up. Slight mismatch. And they can easily jump off the bridges, but hey, if they want to do that, they can do so. Lights. Yeah, they're all here. The They are configured with... Yeah, you can see lots of lights over here. They're configured like this, so they have a color on them. They do not have animations on them. I guess that's a bit too much to ask. Um, but the lights are there, so let me drop a token onto this. My Simba Room Staff Mage. And let's see, there you go. Let's see, we've got dynamic lighting. We've got um, the walls. Let me just see, have I got light on them? Light. He doesn't have a light, does he? No, let's give him a light. Five, ten, ten dim, five bright. And let me just check the token settings. It's to say, okay, let's see, you can see 20 and 10. So this looks a bit more like it now. So as I walk around, you can see the walls are all blocking vision as they're supposed to. I don't always like this, to be honest. Uh, so sometimes I just take the vision off um, so it doesn't ruin the scene. And then here there seems to be a half height wall so they can look over the wall, but they can't go through the door until I open it. Open the door. Here it's full walls, so you get this, the whole sort of exploration. Of course Foundry has this built in as functionality. You don't have to pay any extra for dynamic lighting like you might have to do on other platforms, not mentioning any names. So yeah, this looks pretty sweet, doesn't it? Let's take him over here to the bridge. As mentioned, yeah, you can easily hop off sideways because there's no wall there. Well, then why not? So, as you can see, it imports it with all the vision and... Okay, I didn't make this map, I just grabbed it off the Discord. But you can share these maps very easily with each other. And um, as I demonstrated in a couple of other videos, one of them was yesterday, I think, um, it is really quick to make these yourself as well. And this getting your your AI supported maps with walls and with lights on it, I think it's just great. Anyway, I wanted to keep this short. If you have any questions, yeah, drop me a comment. If you like what you see, leave me a like. And I might do some more of these RPG tools reviews. I've got six or seven in my playlist. But typically, if you like um, actual plays, the next one is coming up next week as well, but it's in German. All right, hope you enjoyed that. And that's me done for now. So you don't need to see this. This is supposed to be done here. See you next time.